All right, so this guy here helped me get my first performance in front of a crowd of people that I didn't know. He was my he English, was my English 101, 101, 101 teacher, teacher back when I was a senior in high school. Fall star. It breaks my heart in a thousand little places to watch educators lower their fickle expectations. I don't want to paint all teachers in a negative light. I taught for eight years. I gave it my life. One of the most awkward parts of teaching is giving a test after half of the class finishes. Then it's basically nap time for the kids who didn't sleep last night. And it's I don't know how to act right for the kids who can't sit still and that's fine. Overheard in the teacher's lounge last week, he was as cute as a puppy dog, but you can't teach a puppy to read. Mr. to cast the first stone student in F. What have I taught if the kid I caught cheating on my final exam is already failing and I fail him again? When he drops out, if he goes to jail, we both get to say, I told you so, but who failed whom? Did he fail the test or did I fail him? Sometimes I get a handful of amped up pupils who would love to be made an example of and truthfully I'm in the mood to prove myself the alpha above the bully but then I lose my temper and I say to him nobody believes your excuses but you and if you really hate school why not try to pass this class before you have to repeat the 10th grade again and as soon as those words leave my lips I can immediately see the damage they did so I'm sorry kid but here here's your grade a cinder block tied to the ankle of your GPA hopefully next semester we'll both do better we received the grades we earned so here here's the f we both deserve no child left behind no child gets a dime no child left behind no child gets a dime Public education is a caste system that keeps the balance of power polarized. Low socioeconomic class isn't just for the poor anymore. It's now slowly defined by college graduates. So saddled with debt, they have to get naked and stand in the rain, begging for change just to make the minimum payment on a floating student loan with an interest rate so high they'll never be able to afford their own homes. Why? Reverse Robin Hood theory. We have a lottery where we take from the poorest to the poor and give it to the privileged college kids. Then we tell the rising seniors with low ACT scores, it'll be fine, see? We're trying to make you believe in unicorns. doesn't mean that you can't live your dream. I would be completely fine just making a living doing what I love. The mailman hates me and other paranoid assertions from a scared fidgety person who takes things way very seriously. Hear me out, the rainforest is near a drought. There's proof the wetlands lose about a football field of skin every minute. The same story clouds our vision. Every new cycle, but you can't hear the truth. Too near the DJ booth. Booty deep in the thirst for meaning. The future is looming with the roofie, but you're too busy twerking for freedom. You don't see you're gluten free because they want you to be. And I don't fuck with Chick-fil-A because they don't like gay people. And I don't like microwaves because radiation is evil. And Edward Snowden is listening to someone who's listening to his phone. The new guy at work is a clone. You need to know that old banana is a radio transmitter planted by Homeland Security three weeks ago. And dude, hold up. Did you know solar panels are made of fruit roll-ups? And I don't want to freak you out in your own home. But those fruit flies in a sink are drones. And they know, they know you know, you know, they know, you know, so stay woke. Robert De Niro is an expert on vaccines. Why else do you think the cat freaks out every time she hears the vacuum? And they know, 
They know you know, you know they know you know, so stay woke. We are stuck in a sci-fi novel with a comic plot. The Donald is a Russian puppet. Say he's not. The Donald is a Russian puppet. Say he's not. They know about your Google searches. Google knows about your future purchases before you even search them. The burden of proof is a premise. Recently overridden by postmodernism, privatized prisons and legalized marijuana go together like oil and water. Or bottled water on an airplane. On the airplane, the dude in the aisle seat behind me is actually saying louder than he has to into his galaxy. Would you mind telling Bree I need some cough drops and chapstick, please? Now imagine there's no one on the other end of the phone. Bree is a fictional character. We're supposed to care, whereas I just want to go home. Your softball team is not what it seems. We have reason to believe the infield has been infiltrated by a suicide cult. We got a tip from the third base coach. Better to be sorry than safe if safe is drinking the Kool-Aid at the Heaven's Gate Easter picnic. But who am I to have a pulse? Yep. And they know, they know you know. You know, they know, you know, so stay woke. Chemtrails are shit smears on the blue thong of the sky. Our tears are bidets, but hey, who's right, who's wrong, and why? And they know, they know, you know, you know, they know, you know, so stay woke. How does the post office run out of postage? Motherfucker, why are you open? I speak in metaphors, but that's not a marketable skill I'm great at slamming doors, it's the karma that kills We've all been dead before, but it's still alarming to feel I'm too wired to go to sleep, but too tired to even breathe Too mired in defeat to fire up the belief In a higher meaning Between the divided and complete It's time to be a thief And take back the negative space I've created Between who I am And who I want to be I speak in metaphors But that's not a marketable skill I'm great at slamming doors It's the karma that kills We've all been dead before But it's still alarming to feel When I was in the 8th grade, my teacher asked me what I want to be when I grow up. And I said, you know what? I want to be absent. I want to be gone. I want to be far away from here. I want to be happy. I want to be strong. I want to be old enough to buy beer. So quick to grow up. We miss so much. I love my family, but I hate myself when I can't be myself around my family. Today for lunch, I ate a whole frozen pizza because I didn't want to feel. And now I feel like I ate a whole frozen pizza. I speak in metaphors, but that's not a marketable skill. I'm great at slamming doors, it's the karma that kills. We've all been dead before, but it's still alarming to feel. Ever wonder why the caterpillar doesn't let the butterfly run her life? It's because life after death is one of the best parts of being alive. The cocoon is soon forgotten, and who could knock her for it? Hometowns are made for leaving. Ask a snake who sheds its skin, or a college freshman, how much high school means to him or her. Prose proceeds, verse reverses. Careful of the story of your childhood, you'll have to relive it in all of its revisions. Anger at God is a dimension of belief. You can't be mad at nothing and listen. The refusal of the call is nothing new. Jesus didn't want to be a God, neither do you. Belief and the suspension of disbelief are sort of the same. The wind repeats itself very well. Let me begin again. I speak in metaphors, but that's an unmarketable skill. I'm great at slamming doors, it's the karma that kills. 
We've all been dead before, but it's still alarming to feel I speak in metaphors, but that's not a marketable skill I'm great at slamming doors, it's the karma that kills We've all been dead before, but it's still alarming to feel